Hey guys, welcome back to another Castlevania video. And I hope you really liked the... Uh, I'm recording this one the same night as the first one. Yeah, so I hope you really... So I haven't gotten any of your comments yet on the last one. But uh, I hope you liked my voice acting in the last one. I don't think there's an opportunity to do it in this uh, video. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I went back and rewatched it. Oh, what the... Ah, cool. I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, I, did, I didn't... Uh, I got an opportunity to watch myself after I finished producing the video and I don't know to me it came out really funny <laughs> it was just probably just because it was me doing it and then, I don't know it just felt really silly I liked it I still don't know if I'm gonna do it again but I liked it ah, I got shot with an arrow stupid skeleton oh I cut him off at the knees it's awesome I'm doing pretty good with this sword oh I noticed something in the last video I went through all that work to uh, farm for the cloth tunic, and I forgot to equip it. And then somewhere along the line, I apparently picked up leather plate that I didn't know about until just now. I need to equip my flying armor soul. Alright. Now we're good to go. I hate when I do stupid stuff like that. I caught it by watching my, my own video last time. Blue crow. Attacked by flying crows and enemies. I don't know what that is, so let's find out. Takes 10 energy or mana or whatever it's called, MP per use. Oh, that's pretty cool. I have wings too. That's my flying armor. Oh, that thing's useless. Oh. Yeah, this is doing a lot better, isn't it? No, no fire. Maybe the crow would be better here. I don't even need to kill this thing. I can just continue, can't I? That's alright, I'm good. Swish. Hey, a guy with a knife. Those guys also throw grenades. Those big armors, they kind of remind me of Alphonse. And if you know what Alphonse I'm talking about, bonus points to you. Look, another leather plate. Could use that for money, I guess. Ooh, I, he hurt me, and I just slammed my own face into his sword. He's not a master swordsman. I was stupid. Oh, come on. There we go. Ah. Oh, come on. Swish, swish, swish. Oh, man, that's going to be hard to sink. I just said swish along with my sword swings. And uh, I actually have some problems syncing this game. Syncing the sound of this game, like my narration and the sound and the sound of the game itself to the video, it's kind of hard because of the way this program. I'm using a program called Visual Boy Advance, which is a Game Boy Advance emulator, uh, to play this, and it has its own built-in, um, built-in recording feature. See, you look like Alphonse, except Alphonse doesn't have a shield. But yeah, it has its own built-in video recording feature, so I've been using that. And the resulting video is just a little bit too fast for this game sound, so I have to run the uh, raw footage through a program called Virtual Dub. And I have to adjust the frame right there so that it syncs with the sound. But the problem when I do that is. Come here! Oh, damn, stupid bet. The problem when I do that is that my narration actually ends up being faster than um, the video, the resulting video, the second one, the synced one. So I have to resync my narration to it too, so it's. It's all kinds of messed up. Let's see. Maybe I could just... Hmm, I didn't try this last time. Maybe I can just run the resulting file through virtual dub again uh, and try and resync it a second time. For some reason, I don't think that's going to work. But I can try it. But yeah, the point of that is... I mean, the whole reason I wanted to play an emulator game was because I wanted to have a game where I could just talk like real casually to you guys. The way I'm doing with the Super Mario Bros. crossover... But uh, this game is a, takes a lot of time, actually, to produce a video for it. Because you heard of all the stuff I have to do right there. It's like three passes through three different programs um, by the time I'm done with just this, like, ten-minute video. Ooh. Okay, that was a good drop. This is, like, a passive soul. you got, like, three souls that you can work with here. One is an active ability, which is the bat or the spear or whatever I use. Whatever, you know, you press up in your attack button to... To let it go off. This one, the blue one, you hold R to activate it, and there's various different kinds. This one's the flying armor. It helps me float. 
And the yellow one's like a passive one. This one passively increases my constitution, so that's actually a pretty good drop. I tried to explain that as quick as I could for you guys, because I hate those videos that where they'll like uh, start playing a game and then they'll sit there and they'll, they'll explain like what every stat does to you. Like this is this is my character and his hair is white, as you can see, clearly white-ish, and he's got eyeballs. So <laughs> anyway, no, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> it's just a parody, but still, I like to get down to the gameplay. But anyway, as I was saying, no. Ugh. I tried to use this game. I wanted to use an emulator game as another casual type game, but this requires too much work to be considered a casual type game. I'm still going to play all the way through it because it's really fun, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. But I'll still need to find a replacement for Super Mario Bros. Crossover once I'm through World 8. I guess I could continue to play it like uh, with, through with different characters and stuff like that, of course. But I'd really like to find another game. It's probably going to be Super Mario World, to be honest. Actually, I was talking with one of my friends, and he said that uh, Yoshi's Yoshi's Island 2, I believe, or just Yoshi's Island, would be a good game to do that with, so I might look into that too. Axe armor, those axes at enemies. Let's see how well, ooh, that's got a high MP cost. Ow, and it doesn't even kill things with one shot. Hmm. I'll stick with the bat for now. And uh, I don't know where I'm going, actually. I guess I can head straight up through here, maybe? Nope, straight this way. I'm trying to estimate how much time it takes to put out a 10 minute video or a 9 minute video, because I'm, I'm trying to make sure that these don't reach uh, past the ten, past the like 9.5 minute mark. Um, but I'm trying to think about how long it takes to actually produce one of those videos. One of, how long it takes to produce one of these. And I'm going to say because it takes about an hour. No. Well, I'd say it probably takes about 25 minutes to render the video. And I've got to do that twice because I have to. Well, it takes five minutes to resync it. So you've got the 10 minutes it takes to play the game. And you've got the 35 minutes or so to sync and render the video. And then I'm going to have to resync it again. So yeah, each one of these probably takes about one to, an hour to like an hour and 20 minutes. That's if I get to sit down in one continual session. Wait, what am I doing killing these guys? My brain does that. Like, if I see things coming up that I can kill, I'll just keep killing them. Whoa. Oh yeah, that was a nice avoidance thing by me. Avoidance maneuver, not an avoidance thing. Jeez. <laughs> Good vocabulary, David. I mean, X. Whatever. You guys can call me whatever you want. Well, not whatever you want. There's some things that could just be plain insulting. Like, idiot. Don't call me idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, an arrow! Dang it! Oh, that guy doesn't look like Alphonse. Oh, yeah. Double combo. Ooh, a sword. But I can't reach it. Not till later. Hey, look, a save point. Uh, I guess this is a good place to cut off this particular video, so... Save the game, yes. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.